Well, most welders, a lot of welders anyway, are used to taking hammers and just beating the hell out of stuff and <laughs> forming massive objects and getting things within an eighth of an inch or so, sixteenth of an inch most times. But uh, some of us are all about being really, really accurate with things. Case in point, had a, uh, some friend of mine brought this rifle to me that he had bought from a pawn shop. Well, we tried to zero it and we couldn't get it to zero because the previous owner thought they would do some, some of their own gunsmithing and the dumbass machine down the back end of the receiver here, which makes the front end of the scope go higher, which makes the gun shoot low, use up all your elevation and you still can't get on target. Um, and he previously had this little lightweight aluminum weaver rail on there. Um, I got it zeroed by putting a shim in there, 130 thousandths of an inch thick, and tacking it onto the receiver with TIG. But um, the way it is, is, it needs to be welded on there, so the one I've got on here now is made out of steel. So I've bore sighted it, and let's see if I can show you the procedure for that. I don't know if you can really see that dot in the center. But what that is, it is about 15 yards away. Got that. So, what I do is I put the gun in a vise or other fixture, and then I put my eye right here at the top of the cone of the stock, and I look down the bore. And I center everything up in that bore, and I line up the bore with the spot. Now, some of you will probably say, well, that's not a very accurate method of doing that. I'd use a laser. Okay, smartass. Let's put a laser in there then. All right. So, if I shine this laser down the center of my bore the same way, you can see that down there on the target, I'm pretty much centered right there. And you can kind of tell when it's centered because you get a clear green laser. See how if I get off to the side, it kind of streaks. But when I'm on the center, it's right there, it's clear. So that tells me that my eyeball is as accurate as a laser. So then at that point, what I do is I center up the windage turret on the scope and I bottom the elevation out. Well, as you can see here, with the elevation bottomed out, my crosshairs are still too low, which means that the back end of the scope base is still too high because I put that, I tacked that little uh, 130,000 shim in there with the previous scope base, which honestly is warped, which is why we're changing to a steel one. That way, the base can be welded directly to the receiver. So, it looks like I'm gonna have to machine just a little bit off this base to get my crosshairs where they need to be. Not a problem. Got the receiver on the bridge port now. First thing is to get the receiver level. Then we're going to use the dial indicator, make sure it's level this way. And then we're going to use an end mill and take a couple of cuts off this shim, reduce the thickness a little bit and see what we got then. All right, so the way we do this is we put it on zero. And then we run back and forth and see what the variation is from end to end. Five, six. About the same, about six thousandths of an inch either way. So I gotta balance it to split the difference and then I should be relatively flat. Well, I've got it within about one thousandth of an inch now on the travel, so. It's not very much variation there. 
So at this point, I'm gonna run my mill down it. We're gonna try a 40 thousandths of an inch cut on this. I think 40 is about what it's gonna need. So there we go, we've met our objective. We've got the crosshairs dialed in on our spotter right there. And I'm gonna show you with the laser method exactly where the center of the bore falls in reference to these crosshairs. All right, so, shining my light down the bore, the rifle, we see right here, where the laser becomes clear, which means it's not touching the sides of the barrel, right on that piece of tape. Now shine back at me. See that? There's your laser right there. When you get it focused right there, that means you're dialed in. I'm just using the old eye. You're high and left. I'm using the laser as 